So look, the first channel message that I got for y'all is a song, and it's that Cardi B song. If it's up, then it's stuck. Like you are in the midst of an elevation, some some elevation in whatever shape, form, or fashion that you're looking for elevation in. And I'm even hearing even some places where you aren't, where you're not expecting it. You're about to elevate. It's up. And it's stuck on up. You're just going to continually go up, especially following the guidance and, the, you know, the messages from the Most High, from Spirit. If it's up, then it's stuck. So that was the first channeled song. <laughs> so we're going to do this in two halves. This first half is for all those who are ready for change all those who are like you know most high what do you want from me what, what what do i need to do to get on that ship over there for what they got right there or what i see over there what i've been looking at how do i get over there to that like how do i grow so let's see what messages does spirit have for you I hear it. keep going, won't stop, can't stop. Keep going, can't stop, won't stop. I don't know if that's a song, but that's what I just I just keep hearing. It's just what well, you're doing something right now. You just recently started doing something that's working out for you in the spiritual realm. It's making the most high happy. It's making the most high proud of you. Well, you know, the most high is always proud of us because at least we're trying, but this is like it's something extra. I'm even hearing something about health, good health, good wealth. Some sort of success is here for you already. Some sort of wish is already being fulfilled. But I'm hearing, okay, so I'm hearing to decide what it is that you want. It's like, I feel all the energy. I'm feeling the energy of all the things that you want and you desire. Like, they're already yours. You already have it. But there's this energy when, when, when readers, channelers, mediums, when we say that it's here, that just means that energy is available to you to, you know, pull it in if you want it. And right now, I feel as though... You have the opportunity to pull in the success and the good health and the good wealth and all of that good stuff by following the guidance of spirit. I'm hearing to take care of yourself. I'm seeing someone walking. I just heard save your money, save your finances. I just heard donate to charity. Hmm. Something about roses may be significant or a rose color, rose gold. I just heard. I feel I'm getting this energy like you already are experiencing something, but you don't believe it. You don't believe it is what it is. You waiting on the other foot to drop, the other foot, the other shoe to drop, but it's no other shoe. This is here for you because you are willing to make the changes even if you haven't started making changes or if you're just about to you made the decision like okay you know like i want to change i want to do better what should i do if you're there it's like just being willing is enough being willing and then the follow through of course but being willing is enough for you to get like a little sprinkling. I've been getting that message the last couple of days that there's some little sprinkling of abundance of blessings that the Most High is gifting to his children, you know, to her children. The number nine may mean something to you. Look, when I tell you you are at the final, like, I'm hearing like the final lap, the final frontier I, I heard also. It's like, it's like one more thing that you're going through, one more ascension, one more 
last test before you master something. It, you know, like I'm getting that energy of like you're trying to get your bachelor's or your master's and like I don't know. I I really feel an energy of advancement being had after going through some sort of final test, some sort of final obstacle or some sort of final lap of healing I just heard. I'm really picking up this energy of running. So are you like, are you a runner? You a track star? Like, <laughs> I'm picking that energy up a lot in this reading. Okay, so I'm also getting a message to take note of where you are now. Take note of where you've been so that when you get to where you're going, when you get to where you want to be, you'll be in this space of remembering like, man, I went through this, I went through that, and look where I am now. Like, full circle moments, self-reflection, like, okay. <laughs> that makes me feel so good because I know it gets hard. I know you get to get to points in time where you just like, fuck it, I might as well just do what I've been doing because it don't seem to be working out for me anyway, or I might just give up, might as well just give up, or I, I'm, I'm hearing messages of just not wanting to be here, or maybe it's crossed your mind, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a sense of breaking through mental fogginess or, or mental instability and moving forward, like having the victory. You will have the victory. Y'all, I'm doing a timer this time. <laughs> I'm doing a timer. Let's see how that works out. I don't know. I don't know if the pressure is getting worse off from it or what. <laughs> I don't want to feel rushed, but I want to try to make these daily messages a bit shorter and get these messages out, still still get them out clearly. The energy surrounding you is balanced. You just need to focus on balancing out how you feel, what you do, what you don't do, what you accept, boundaries, creating boundaries. Ooh, this is... See, this is what this is yours. I'm trying to tell you, this is yours. You just have to keep going, keep moving forward, and hold on. I don't know the message. Ooh, you don't have this too. This isn't just like romantic love, though. This is love, period. Unconditional love from the most high. Unconditional love of the self. Like you unconditionally, unconditionally loving yourself. Let's see, I gotta slow down. I'm trying to hurry up. Because I got one more message. So, please and thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Send in love donations, whatever, you know. Thank you for tuning in to the first half. So, let's get to the second half. And the second half is for the people who are on the verge of a breakthrough. It's like the, break, the breakthrough that is already here for you. For you. It's already here for you because you have already put in the work and you are harnessing some of those feelings. I'm, I'm feeling some of those energies and I'm feeling that you are being attacked or you have some attacks presenting themselves to you. I'm even hearing tests. So the overall energy is that it's some tests that need to be passed. I just heard an overflow of abundance. I'm, so I'm picking up this energy of like some sort of love. Some sort of new endeavors. It's something, it's, I feel like it's something trying to throw you off track, off task. I'm hearing task rabbit, but there's something trying to throw you off from noticing that your breakthrough is already here. You're already walking in your breakthrough. You you already have some things to testify to right now, to, to thank the most high for right now. But it's like this energy of something trying to 
lighten the blow like like you know how lighten the blow is like if you got some bad news you try to lighten it with a little joke a little jokey joke up in it in the in the center of it i need this i don't i don't like this timer because it's making me rush too much images but anyway so today is the last first and last day of the timer so y'all probably gonna get what you get but <laughs> anyway um so where was i this energy of walking it's like lightening the blow that's where i was it's something trying to make you feel as though it's not as good as you think it is and this is connected to the first message as well it's like it's it's not the same message because in the first half this is the energy of the people who are just just now starting the journey to to get right and in this half this is for everyone who has already been on the journey is already doing the things already gone through the healing but you're being attacked within your blessings and i feel as though you're being attacked within your blessings because wow how the i shuffled this deck and two of the same exact cards came out so it's like you're both both halves are going through what seems like the same things but for the second half it's more extravagant it's like what's coming in for you is more extravagant it's 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 more better it's like an energy of reward risk after reward after risk like you already did it oh there's an abundance of love coming in for you too there's an abundance of love of an um, abundance of pure divine alignment how do you have an abundance of divine alignment? I don't know, but that's what I just heard. A, an abundance of divine alignment. It's like everything that you do, every step that you take is divinely aligned. But it's something that keeps throwing little things. Like I'm seeing like somebody throwing like tax in your path and you like walking in, in your, your hallway at home with no shoes, no socks on. It's like something trying to do that. But the most high is right there, like guiding your footsteps. And you miss the tech every single time. You 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 never feel the tech. And it's like this energy of stepping into that. Like, yeah, it's something look like it's trying to come forward and like throw you off, but it can't touch you. You're at an untouchable state. Where you're going, your route there is unstoppable. Ooh. I feel I feel tingles, chills all in my crown space. So for me, that feels like an energy of you just coming to like a realization of this, like, you know what? Everything has been working out so perfectly for me. Like, why am I concerned about um, going to the grocery store and they don't got my favorite item that I've been waiting on all week? Or like, why am I upset that I'm bothered by being five minutes late for something because somebody driving how they driving on the road it's like an, an energy of not letting the little things throw you off recognizing where you are <laughs> being patient <laughs> don't we hear that a lot be patient i think i think i i, I i'm gonna say i think i think that we hear it a lot because one, we need to practice more patience. And two, it's 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 something that we struggle with. It's it's easy to get tired of hearing, oh, be patient, be patient. Yeah, you're gonna get tired of hearing it. But if you're not being patient, because if you were being patient, you wouldn't be concerned about the timing of everything. And it's the needing hydration for me. Like, I don't know if this is mixed with feeling like I got to talk fast and move fast through these messages or you need to drink you some water, connect your emotions, speak your truth, um, think before you speak. But yeah, so there's a love connection though for you second half people. I'm hearing to be patient with it, to be patient 
move when you feel guided to move. Don't just don't feel like you have to rush through anything. If you feel like um, you need to hurry up. Uh, see, I'm getting two messages with that. With one energy, you've been stagnant already. You ain't you ain't. You ain't did shit. That's just that's how it came. You ain't did shit. And now you it's some fire being put up under you. So yeah, you are the one. Your, your energy is the one that when I say practice patience, my energy is like, no, that's not it. It's it's like time is is not running out for you, but for you to have the connection that you're looking to have with this person, you have to take some steps or make some sort of efforts it's not about like going jumping head first and just throwing yourself out there but it's little things i'm hearing do some little things um just just to, just to let them know that you're there but the other energy i'm getting is that someone has been waiting for love this feels like counterparts i'm not gonna lie someone has been waiting for love and is patiently waiting for love and it's like one energy is patiently waiting for love and the other energy is like, I want this love, but um, let me keep chilling. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to do. But then it's like, oh, snap. What if they find somebody? They look too good over there. Like, I don't know. It's like this, this energy of a divine connection that is trying to come into fruition. And... It, we're just waiting on one person. We're waiting on this masculine energy. Matter of fact, the masculine energy is the one that feels like um, I'm not going to do anything because I don't know what to do. So do something. <laughs> do something. And for the feminine energy, uh, I don't like that. Mm -mm, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. But And then the feminine, but that is confirmation. But anyway, the feminine energy is in this state of self-love, of self-care, of just flowing. That you glowing and showing. That's why this masculine energy, you make them all discombobulated. Like it's a song. All I do is think of you. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'll be loving you forever. And inside my heart, you leave me never. I'm hearing that song, but I also heard all I all I do is think of you day and night. I'm hearing like both of them songs put together. So anyway, the timer went off. I did. I think I did. I you know, I just don't like. I don't like being rushed. Don't rush me. But I did it to myself. <laughs> I did it to myself because I'm trying to. I'm trying to make the readings shorter and I don't know I, I feel like I should just go with the flow that's what I'm feeling because trying to set the timer and then it's going mm -mm, I don't like that <laughs> don't yell at me <laughs> but anyway those are your messages I send you all so much love and light check the description box and like share comment subscribe hit that notification bell follow me over to my tiktok enchantress of romance on tiktok as well um you can email me with any questions or if you want to work with me collab with me or whatever just hit me up anyway namaste <laughs>